yeast of so many different strains. It is hard to choose. When I look at the wine yeast, they have this and two others. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, but I've had good success with this. All right, so I was going to show off our sauerkraut. It has been fermenting very well for us. I still see a little activity here, but it is mostly done. And when did we set this up? Was this last Sunday or last Wednesday? I think it was last Wednesday. Last Wednesday. So mm -hmm. it's gone about a week for us. Um, <laughs> and it, on the side, Lady Wayfarer has started some of her sprouts over there. So Yeah, I need to rinse them tonight. We just have a veritable kitchen going on here, which I love. It's well loved, well lived. Okay, so let me go get another camera because we can do this now. Are you sure? I, no promises. I'm not sure Streamlabs is going to let you. I don't, Streamlabs has been not cooperating tonight. Then again, it's free, so who, how am I going to complain about that? Yeah, that's true. I was about to do the OBS move, but let's see. Champagne yeast. It's, ooh. I think you've done that before with me. Have you used champagne yeast? I have. Oh, wait a minute. A four liter carboy? How much uh, honey did you put in that, did you say? Remember, I left my phone upstairs. I can fetch. Okay. It's plugged into the charger next to, sure as you're looking at the standing desk on the left. Gotcha. Late teens, early 20s, I think. Okay. Um, because I use uh, it's a five liter Pyrex, a five liter, a uh, five gallon Pyrex, so it'll be about 18 liters, 19 liters, I think. My conversion's terrible, and I apologize. Uh, but it has lots of airspace, too. Uh, and I'll bring that over once we, we have boiling water, so I could actually do that. Uh, okay. Just making a bottle of mead. So this we cleaned up from our beer batch that we kegged. And the beer batch was from our October stream and thanks to a few COVID closings, etc., we just got it kegged. So <laughs> all the kitchen conversions. Yes, I do. And I actually have some of them right here. Um, Cooking.com, which is a site that still exists in name only. It used to be the great cooking site, but I think they got killed off by uh, Amazon. Thank you, love. And she brought my many mugs down. You had a collection. Yeah. I had a collection. Yep. I was keeping it for an emergency. Uh-huh. 